your merciful love, O God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your merciful love, O God, you have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I welcome you to Mass on this Tuesday in the 14th week in Ordinary Time. We're offering this live stream Mass for the good estate of Chris Varghese. Uh, I believe it's his birthday. And uh, Father Rajesh is offering a foundation Mass. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, they have set up kings, but not with my consent, and appointed princes, but without my knowledge. Out of their own silver and gold they have made idols, which are doomed to destruction. I spurn your calf, Samaria. My anger blazes against it. How long will it be before they purge themselves of this, the sons of Israel? A workman made the thing. This cannot be God. Yes, the calf of Samaria should go up in flame. They sow the wind, they will reap the whirlwind. Their wheat will yield no ear. The ear will yield no flower. Or if it does, foreigners will swallow it. Ephraim has built altar after altar. They have only served him as occasion for sin. Were I to write out the thousand precepts of my law for him, they would be paid no more attention than those of a stranger. They love sacrificing. Right, let them sacrifice. They love meat. Right, let them eat it. The Lord takes no pleasure in these. He is now going to remember their iniquity and punish their sins. They will have to go back to Egypt. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he wills. The idols of the heathen are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. They have mouths that they cannot speak. They have eyes that they cannot see. They have ears that they cannot hear. They have nostrils that they cannot smell. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. With their hands they cannot feel, with their feet they cannot walk. Their makers will become like them, so will all who trust in them. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Sons of Israel, trust in the Lord. 
according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. A man was brought to Jesus, a dumb demoniac, and when the devil was cast out, the dumb man spoke and the people were amazed. Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel, they said. But the Pharisee said, it is through the prince of devils that he casts out devils. Jesus made a tour through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing all kinds of diseases and sickness. And when he saw the crowds, he felt sorry for them because they were harassed and dejected, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is rich, but the labourers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send labourers to his harvest. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. people of God cry to him for help, framing their special relationship to him. Their actions, however, demonstrate that they do not know the Lord. They have acted without reverence to God, appointing kings who are not of divine consecration, and they worship silver and gold as their highest good. These are grievous sins through their own, own fault, and they deserve to be punished. Not only will they see the destruction of their golden calf, but the harvest might fail. Rather than look to the Lord God for their protection, they have paid tribute to the Assyrian king, but it will be of no avail. It is nothing short of a protection racket and will eventually lead to a loss of their freedom. It will also lead to a poison of their religion, Canaanite temples becoming interspersed with ones dedicated to the one true God. Thus the religious services being offered, far from taking away the people's sins, have multiplied them. The offerings they make to the Lord do not please him, because they do not truly come from the heart, and are not coupled with love of neighbour. We are always in danger of repeating the errors of the past. Our charity is to be extended to all without distinction of race, social condition or religion, seeking neither gain nor gratitude. Jesus Christ went about all the towns and villages, healing every sickness and infirmity, asking for nothing in return, but above all, showing the people that in him the kingdom of God has arrived. The shepherds of the church are to have compassion for the people and lead them to green pastures, calling them to truth and life, to holiness and grace, exhorting justice, love and peace. The church remains a visible sign that the kingdom is God is here and not yet. We are to gather people into it so that they may experience the coming of the kingdom in their lives and take their place in it as it is manifested in its fullness at the second coming of Christ. The harvest is rich and the labourers are few, so we must foster a culture of vocations in our parish so that we may all be fruitful in our spiritual endeavours, and that no souls may be lost to the eternal life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the light of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Sanctor Hos, Sanctor Hos, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenius Onceli et Terra, Gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Richard our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On your say, we tall is peccata moni, miserere nobis. On your say, we tall is peccata moni, miserere nobis. On your say, we tall is peccata moni, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. So you have just a little over one hour left to go and pray before the Blessed Sacrament in St Mary Magdalene Church. We have a new team of volunteers for Tuesday mornings and they've just started and are looking forward to ministering to you this morning. So the church is open for private prayer before the Blessed Sacrament until 11.30 this morning. The church will also be open again for prayer on Wednesday morning, 9.30 to 11.30, and 6.30 to 8 p.m. Another new team is coming online to minister to you this week. And then again, Friday morning and Saturday morning, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. On Saturday, Father Rajesh and I will be available throughout those two hours 
uh, on Saturday 9.30 to 11.30 will be available for confessions because it's been nearly four months since most of us have been able to get to confession and we must be desperate to restore the life of grace for any sins we have committed. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Amen.